Oh, that would thank be you, wonderful. Amy. Amy, you're allowed to tell me that at everything you come on to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Louise, thank you. <laughs> I send a message to my virtual uh, PA and I said, will you put this on a YouTube uh, channel for me? And she said, Louise, you didn't record it. I can't get it in the cloud oh. if you didn't record it. <laughs> said, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Why didn't I go um, have computers in primary school? <laughs> All right. So Vicky's got her hands up. So Vicky, can you hear us okay? She can't hear us, but she can she could see us. Okay. Oh, so okay. I might get you to log off Vicky and then log on again. That's what my Gen Y sons tell me. Mum, if the phone doesn't work, log off, log on. The computer doesn't work, log off, log on. You'd think I'd know it by now. There might be a setting in yeah. her actual Zoom settings that she needs to have a play with. Yes. I'm just thinking. I'm just messaging yeah. her. Thanks, I Nicole. Asked her, um, do you know? And was there another girl that was going to jump on, Nicole? Yes, I thought Tanya was jumping on as well. Great. Do you want to message her? Yeah. I know the time gets away. I know. Is she in Victoria? Yeah. Great. I wish Queensland had daylight saving and I could just work on one time. Easier, <laughs> wouldn't it? Is it hot down there today, Amy? No, it's cold and it's raining. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, we have hot. had some hot days, but not today. Yes. Yeah, so Where about are you, Amy? I'm in Hamilton. Oh, okay. Where are you, Nicole? I'm in Melbourne. But oh, okay. I'll be going to uh, Halls Gap in January. Oh, nice. For a week. So we'll be going through Hamilton. No, you won't. Um, on the way down to Warrnambool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, you could do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. spending a week in Halls Gap and a week in Warrnambool, so we'll go through Hamilton on the way. I was going to say, if you're going oh. Melbourne to Halls Gap, you won't come through Hamilton. <laughs> if you're going to Warrnambool, yes. What dates are you going away, Nicole? Uh, the 11th of Jan we leave and come back on, what is it, 26th of Jan, Australia Day. Excellent. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. Very we might good. have to organise to do coffee. <laughs> we'll yes. try. I, I think we'll be just passing through with a Yeah, if you're just oh, passing through, it's easier if you're staying in the actual town. So let's get started, everyone, and welcome. I think so, we're logging in and out. Sorry. Is she? Okay. At least it will be recorded so she can watch again. All right. And even if um, Vicky can see the steps of the facial, that will be useful as well. So welcome ladies and um, what I thought I would do is go through how I do a facial. Now did I grab my skin diagnosis chart? Yes I did. So um, you can find your skin diagnosis chart by going on the Nutrimedics website under resources and you also can find it by going to the Buchner Beauty Academy on Facebook on our group and what I did was go to the guides and then under guides, I did a search of skin diagnosis chart and this one came up, which is great. I think there is a more recent one, but this one will do for me because I gave away all my other sheets to one of the other girls who is going to do some facials. So, so there is an updated one, Louise, with the new products? Um, probably on N Central on yep. your Nutribetics website. And you go down to resources and you search skin diagnosis chart. Lovely. Thank you. Wonderful. Excellent. Otherwise, you send a message to Nicole Stapleton, Susan Barr, all the other uplines you've got. <laughs> and, so help ask, me. <laughs> and ask them to find out for you and Thank send you. it to you or put it on the um, are you part of the Perigian Beach training group as well? I do a lot of um, notifications on there. If I don't not, think so, no. I'd love you to join that, please. I'll have to yeah. find it. Thank you. Perigian Beach training group, I think okay. it's called. I'll have a look. I when live I at Perigian Beach, everyone, on the Sunshine Coast. A little bit about me. I actually started in Nutrimedics and became a beauty consultant uh, on the 28th of November, 44 years ago. So wow. 
I do think I'm a little bit of a walking encyclopedia, but one of the things I love about the beauty industry and the direct selling industry is you're always being challenged and there's always more to learn. And that keeps me interested because I actually, I don't like to get bored and I like to be productive and I love to learn. And I think that this is an amazing industry for women and for men who love the idea of being conscientious and getting paid for being conscientious. My previous job, I was in the public service in the New South Wales Police Department, and the more conscientious I was, the more work I was given. And uh, with Nutrimedics, I found the more conscientious I was, the more income I earned. And I loved that about it. I've also fallen in love with the beauty industry, and I love chatting to other women. I love chatting to anyone that's interested in business and in the beauty industry. That's even more entertaining and interesting for me. So I would love you first to, to develop an interest in the business world. Love you to listen to podcasts. Um, and one of the ones I listen to is called The Business Of. And for those of you that don't know much about me, I joined Nutrimedics while working full-time for the police department. 18 months later, I'd earned my first company car and my first trip overseas. Madonna is joining us. That's lovely. Is Madonna in your team, Nicole? Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Hello, Madonna, and welcome. Lovely to have you on. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. So just sharing a little bit about me and the beauty industry and how I got started. So I got started 44 years ago and on the 28th of November. So a bit of an anniversary for me and really fell in love with it. I fell in love with it very quickly. I had really little interest in the beauty industry beforehand, although I was interested in putting on my blue eyeshadow, my brown lipstick and my black mascara. I have since learnt over the years that that's not quite the combination for my, my skin colouring, my hair colouring, my hazel eyes. However, one thing I love about makeup is everything is in. The 70s is in, the 80s is in, the 2000s are in, everything is in. You can do light eyes and light lips you can do dark eyes and dark lips you can match what you're wearing you can do the opposite to what you're wearing if you've got hazel eyes you can put blue eyeshadow and blue eyeliner on to make them sparkle more if you've got hazel eyes you can put green eyeshadow on you can do anything and I always kept it very simple and I use neutral browns on everyone and on everyone's face that I do, because it works whether you're cool, warm, tall, short, or anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so I do I'd keep it quite simple. And uh, I did develop a love for skincare and makeup, a bit of a contrast in industries to go from being a personal assistant to the inspectors of police to the beauty industry. But what I love about it is the biggest problem that I have these days is choosing the right lipstick for the right girl. And let me tell you, if you work for the police department for nine years, it's a much more serious industry. So just love it. Do I take this industry very seriously? Yes, I do. I love business. And I was just recommending to the girls that they listen to a podcast called The Business Of. So I moved, even though I was working full time, I was married, didn't have any children at the time, and I moved quite quickly through the ranks. Now, I think it's quite quickly to get a car in 18 months and to earn my first trip overseas. However, so many of my team have earned their car in eight months and um, earned their first trip in four months or five months or six months. So I personally believe it doesn't matter whether you do it quickly at a medium time frame or one of my most gorgeous managers it was six years for her to become a manager and of course there's always reasons for that her previous job was a nurse and she was nursing her dad who was going through cancer 
So that was her priority in her life at that time. And then she became a manager, earned her car, travelled overseas. And the opportunity to travel the world fully paid for by Nutrimedics, well, you have to pay for a, a few meals and your own shopping, obviously, but it's basically your accommodation, your flights, and um, some of the dinners are paid for. And it's so much fun to go overseas with 20, 30, 50, 100, 200 of people who have the same um, interests as you do and some of the same characteristics and, and personality styles. In Nutrimedics, I would love you to also study personality styles. And the fruits one, Tanya, is coming on. Excellent. Hello, Tanya, and welcome along. So lovely to have you on. Thank you for joining us on a Saturday afternoon. Fantastic. So one of the things I'd love you to do is um, Google how to do the fruits personality test. And um, with the fruits, I'm a sort of a half apple and a half mango. Um, and uh, it might surprise you, but Adam is more of a mango first, if you have met or listened to Adam Buchner. And he's also got a fair bit of apple in him. And the mango people or the um, eyes on a disc profile, love you also to do the Tony Robbins disc profile, which we ask people to do, because an important part of learning how to do a facial um, communicate with people and take the order at the end of the facial is understanding people and communicating on in their language. I think that's very important. So, so do that uh, as well. So I did earn my car in 18 months, earned my first trip overseas um, and decided that I would go with Nutrimedics full-time. I was actually earning more in my part-time Nutrimedics than I was in my full-time job as a personal assistant to the inspectors of police in, um, in a police station I was assigned to at that time. So I loved that job. I didn't leave because I didn't, I, I, I didn't leave because I didn't like the job. I left because um, my husband and I, I want to start a family and I, it wasn't really a possibility to put the babies in the freezer while I went to work. So, or out in the backyard where the Great Dane was. <laughs> so thought it was a good idea to switch careers. And as I was saying to Nicole and Amy who are on, oh, Vicky's entering as well, which is great. Um, as I was saying um, to them, I um, I just think that compared to working for the public service or the New South Wales Police Department, number one, there were a lot of glass ceilings in the 1980s and there aren't any glass ceilings in Nutrimedics, which I absolutely love. So it didn't matter whether the people that I joined with were just lovely. Um, particularly the lady that I was with, her name was Terry Jones. And when I first met, met her, she was driving a Nutrimedics Jaguar wearing this amazing $10,000 diamond and she'd earned them all through Nutrimedics. So it was very inspirational to me. For those of you that don't know my story, I grew up in Housing Commission in the southwest of Sydney. I went to Miller Primary School, Miller High School, you do a little search of the area. And um, so mum and dad had never owned a new car and never had um, bought a house. They were renting through the Housing Commission. I decided in my teenage years that I wanted my life to be very different and I didn't want to uh, live in poverty. So a few decisions that I made, and one of those decisions was that um, I saw my mum go back to work. She was a registered nurse when I was 13. I'm the eldest of four children. Um, we also had my invalid grandmother, grandma, who I absolutely adored, lived at home with us, and she'd had polio as a teenager. So she wasn't able, she had the 
the dropped hand that was very curled and she wasn't able to dress herself properly or bath herself or, or but there were lots of things that she could do, lots of things she could do. Anyway, when grandma passed away, I was 13, mum decided she could go back to work and I could help bring up the children. Hence, after we were married, it was 11 years later before I was even ready to have any kids because I felt like I already brought up three others. So, <laughs> so I did join the beauty industry. From um, earning my car and trip, I then went full-time with Nutrimedics. Eight months later, I handed back my executive sales manager car and got my Toyota Celica, which was a sales director car. I had that car for 22 months and then um, I reached the highest level in Nutrimedics at the age of 29. The people who are above me, Terry Jones and Ruth Farrell, they both joined in their 40s. So it doesn't matter, and I know some ladies, one lady, she joined when she was 80 and she earned her first car at 82. So it doesn't matter if you are a teenager. One of my best friends is Sandy McDonald. She joined when she was 17 and in her 20s, she um, reached the highest level in Nutrimedics, as did Lucia Cardamoni, who is in Melbourne, and, um, and Terry Jones' daughter, Vicky Reeve. So there were a whole group of us. And I do think a lot of success is about timing and is about finding a mentor who inspires you. So then I was inspired. I thought I'd do, because um, if I do something, I like to do it really well. Is anyone else like that that's on the call? Yep. Okay. So I decided that I would study um, beauty therapy. So I did that. Most of it was online, which was great, or correspondence at that time. And um, then quite a while later, I started doing some extra makeup courses. So I do want you to do to do some study. And the best thing about today is that you can just go on YouTube videos and you can learn how to do a facial, how to do your massage movements, how to take orders, how to sell, what's important, what's not. But make sure that you cull all of that to what's relevant to what we do. So I really um, had a great interest very quickly in looking after my skin. I had acne from the time I was a teenager and um, really I had acne for most of my adult life. So I really felt that by joining Nutrimedics, I could also help learn how to look after my skin and help. Uh, I had a couple of friends and you know what friends are like. One friend said, Louise, how can you sell Nutrimedics when your skin is so bad? So talk about direct. <laughs> She's an apple in the personality style. And I said, the reason I can do that is because I have such empathy for people who have a problem with their skin. And I know that I've been able to help my skin and I would love to help others. And I'd love to help others with makeup as well, because I think that putting on a little bit of makeup and doing your facials gives you so much confidence and that then carries over to your business skills, your ability to earn an income, to everything in your life. And I also think the higher you, you have with your self-esteem and your confidence, the more of a role model you can be to your children. So that's what that industry has taught me. It's also taught me great coping skills. So is it easy? If it was easy, everyone would be a presidential director in Nutrimedics. But is it worthwhile? Yes, it is. So let's get started on the facial, which I love. So the skin diagnosis chart, ladies, I was just explaining. You can go on to N Central, go on to resources and do a search for skin diagnosis chart and you will find the latest skincare diagnosis chart. You can also, if you're not already part of the Buchner Beauty Academy, love you to join that. And that is a group that Adam set up and if you go there, you look at guides, you go under guides, you search skin diagnosis chart, you will also find one that Adam has put there. I'm sure that we have a new one, so I might chat to him about updating it when he's finished traveling to Perth, Darwin, Tasmania and everywhere else, Auckland around the country, that that young son of mine 
travels to um, spreading confidence and self-esteem among so many women and men. So I um, find people to for my facials in lots of different ways. I had a lady recently, and if you um, have an events cinema near you, they have a Chicks at the Flicks, and I believe that Hoyt Cinemas also have a Girls' Night in. Now, they might already, I know that when we started that, we were the first group in Nutrimedics to get on to going to the movies and having a stand. And um, we did give away the other states to other senior people at the time, but perhaps they're not working there anymore. You do need to be an executive sales director or have an executive sales director be there with you to do this, but it's something that you could think of. And um, Adam offers a pop-up makeup stand or hand massages or um, skin diagnosis at anywhere and everywhere. He will search events. He will search things like um, it might be, well, the Melbourne Cup, um, everywhere, a restaurant that's having a big Valentine's Day, and he will offer to do a pop-up stand at those or give out a free raffle ticket. Again, you can find most of the forms and printing that you need on the Buchner Beauty Academy, or you can send a message to Adam or I, and we will find it for you and flick it to you. Best way to manage to message me is via email. The best way to message Adam is probably Messenger. Okay. And I'm getting pretty good at checking Messenger as well. <laughs> but text and, and my email are my forte. So um, I found uh, I, I had lovely ladies there and gave them a brochure, and put them in an entry for a free raffle. Um, your state manager, if you are serious about your business, she will send to your executive sales manager products to and sample sachets and brochures for any stand that you're happy to do, okay? And, um, and it's always a good idea to ask the executive sales manager to apply for that because they're the ones that they deal with. So I had some products there, made a beautiful little basket, put just a minimal display. Adam's taught me, I love, I'm the sort of person who has to put everything in the whole world, every skincare product that we have on the range, I like to carry around with me. Adam carries about 12 products, if that many. So you can be minimalist or you can be wanting to take the whole shop with you. It's up to you. Um, so um, I found this, uh, I rang and text all the ladies that entered the draw, offered them a beautiful free complimentary facial. I explain I'm a mobile beauty consultant, I can come to them. Or if you have the ability to have them at your place, that's great. The lady came to my place, lovely lady. She'd never had a facial in her life, this lady. She was about 58. So the first thing that I do is start with a skin diagnosis chart. So with the skin diagnosis chart, I let them fill it in because it gives me their name, street, state, mobile, email, date, consultant, etc. And they just fill in and I say, if you need some help to answer any of the questions, let me know. So how would you best describe your skin? So ladies, I want you to diagnose yourself at the moment. So you diagnose somebody's skin by having a look at their skin. So I look for whether they're shininess. If they're shiny, they're probably a little bit oily. If they're dry, then the skin doesn't have that extra hydration to it. The whole goal is to get the skin to be as normal as we possibly can. So close to normal, which is tight pores, not too oily, not too dry, just right. And that's what a facial will do for people's skin. Um, so dryness, if there's lines or wrinkles, I can tell you now that area is dry. If there's acne and breakouts, blackheads, I can tell you now that area is oily. So if you're writing some notes, the first thing you do is observe observe the person's skin. So observe your own skin. If there's redness, redness is a bit of a red flag, 
there's some sensitivity to that skin. So Amy, do you have a bit of redness in your skin? And is your skin sensitive to some things? Yes, my skin is very sensitive, Louise. Very sensitive. Yeah. Okay. So I um, really take, I take the platinum range or I set the platinum range out for me. Adam rarely takes the comfort range, but I think we're coming across a lot of sensitive skins. So I always take the comfort range along with me as well. And this was tested in a United Kingdom hospital area where all the patients had dermatitis, psoriasis, um, eczema, dry skin conditions, um, lots of skin conditions. And 18 out of 20 of the people could use this range, yeah. which is very good for a sensitive skin. Now, if I've got a sensitive skin, I always patch test. Now, I've put a little bit of skin tint on, some lip gloss and mascara. That's all I'm wearing today because I knew I would have to take it off. But if I'm patch testing, I would just patch test by putting a strip of comfort range there. I would do... Uh, if anyone is sensitive to anything, it's probably, it's either the toner, it also can be exfoliating products that are a little too strong. It can be highly active products, but it's mainly toner and SPF. Okay. So if I, if Amy told me she's very sensitive, I would delete toner from her skincare range straight away at least while I'm doing the facial, because the last thing I want to do is have to go and get the milk out of the fridge, put it on the cotton pads and soothe down the skin and send it to the bathroom to wash everything off. So <laughs> I'm a big believer of don't do anything that's going to cause a red flag if you don't have to. Make sense? All right. Can you use toner, Amy? Yes, I actually use the whole platinum range. And wow. I have no issues whatsoever. Like I know I have the redness on my cheeks. Yes. But it's not actually irritated. Like if my eczema's irritated, <sighs> it's very, very dry and very, very sore and itchy. Yeah. And it, yeah, it's not irritated at all. So yeah, I've always had a lot of issues with skincare. Yeah. Right. Um, but the platinum is perfect. I love it. Good. Could you put a testimonial on the Buchner Beauty Academy for me? We yeah, need so many testimonials so that people go, okay, this is an extraordinary range because it is. Absolutely. Yeah, but I take that along just in case and I have the Comfort Day Cream, the Comfort Night Cream, the Comfort Eye Cream. Do you have to do that? No, you can just go in your brain. They're all going to be like Amy and Adam <laughs> doesn't take it along, so I don't have to either. <laughs> However... <laughs> I'm more cautious. I must All say, right. with the comfort range, Louise, my grandma, um, she's 80, I think she's 86. Yeah. She has far more sensitive skin than what I do, and she's just recently started using her comfort range and absolutely loves it. Oh, my goodness. Can we have that testimonial as well? You write it on behalf of the grandma. I, can, I don't have any name. before and after photos, but I can do that, yes. Oh, testimonials will be amazing. Yeah, sure. Um, so how would you best describe your skin? So, what I'm, Nicole, I'm going to analyse you, okay? So tell me, how would you best describe your skin? Nicole, are you normal, dry, oily, combination normal to dry or combination normal to oily? I'm going to grab a pen. So what do you think, Nicole? Um, I'm thinking normal to oh. normal to dry or normal to oily? Yeah, probably more normal to dry these days. Mm. Used to be normal to oily. Yeah, I used to be just oily. Oily, oily, oily. Then combination normal to oily. Now I'm more combination to dry. Hooray! Only took to get to 69 to be combination oily, to, oh, combination normal to dry. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do your combination oily to dry. I'm going to write Nicole. Adam calls Nicole Nicole Cap. So uh, that's how I've been introduced to her. That's how I know her. That's what I'm calling us, Nicole Cap. That's all right. <laughs> what this should be Nicole. That's fine. <laughs> 
There's so many Nicole's. Like Nicole is sponsored by Nicole Stapleton. Nicole Stapleson also sponsored Nicole Carstairs, who also calls herself um, Nicole Hampton. So Hampton. I don't know what to call anybody. <laughs> oh, I see. You call it Nicole. Got, You'll find someone. <laughs> then my state manager is is Nikki Katsoulis. And then Billy Pinder. Billy's real name is Wilma. A mother and father called her Wilma. They called Will after some male in the family, Murr after some other number. So she decided she didn't like Wilma. I wouldn't have liked Wilma either. So she calls herself Billy. <laughs> and her daughter is our first executive sales manager in New Zealand. And her name is Nikki. Her real name is Nicola, I think. Um, so we've got, it's just, uh, I know in Adam's class there were about six Adams. So he wasn't um, so keen on Adam, but he likes it now. What concerns you most about your skin? So if we've got a combination normal to dry, you might tick dehydration, Nicole. What do you think? Correct. Dehydration Dehydrated. and lines and wrinkles. Lines and wrinkles. Good. We'll take and maybe, that. maybe just the start of some age spots. Just the start. Well, you're doing well. That's great. Lack of firmness. Is there any bit of falling down yeah. in this jowl area? <laughs> yeah, All right. We're going to also work on the firmness and age spots, pigmentation. I tick both of those. I really don't know what the difference is. And that means you've also got some sun damage. So we're going to tick that. As well. What concerns you most about your eyes, Nicole? Puffiness, dark circles, dryness, lack of firmness, lines and wrinkles. I think just lines and wrinkles, which you probably can't see, but yeah, they're there. Okay. Now you look Bruce amazing. Or well, every computer we've got in the house, Adam, puts soft focus on. So we all look 10 years younger than we are. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> okay. So um, Nicole would have a look, um, would fill that in for me. I would then say, right, Nicole, what we're going to do, and I really advertise just about every facial as a hydrate and glow facial. For me, glow, glowing skin is really a great tagline at the moment. But I also, I study and I go around to beauty therapists and I grab their menus Um or you can just go online now. That's the easiest way, isn't it? Hello, Louise. Print out their facial menus and you can use those names. And I love the fact that in the October brochure, Nutrimedics did an ultra care list and they said what each product was um, for in a facial. So, for instance, microdermabrasion was for a microdermabrasion facial. Platinum tight, firm and lift mask was for a lift and firming facial. Um, and then I usually called mine all high performance facials. But I got sick of high performance now. So now they're hydrate, glow and hydrate facials. So whatever is going to make you excited. And my question to myself is always, if I read these lines, would I book that facial? And if anyone offered me a free facial, let me tell you, I would say yes to a free facial. Yep, I love it. So um, we are going to use, so Nicole, thank you for ticking and for filling that out for me. So what I'm going to do with my facial for you, I'm going to work on the lack of firmness, the a little bit of the pigmentation. We're going to use an amazing product called Vitamin C Booster. It's a clarity booster. It's a serum. And all the serums that we use on your skin are going to go deeper into the skin and really target the particular areas of concern. We're also going to target the eyes for you. We're going to use a specialized product that is an eye serum that will particularly target the lines and the wrinkles around the eyes. And in fact, you can actually notice a difference using this product within five minutes. If I were to just put it on one eye, leave it for five minutes for you, you would be able to see which eye had less lines and wrinkles. Incredible product. 
Another product that I absolutely am going to target for you is basically we're going to lift and firm. And we have a tight firm and fuel serum that I'm going to use for you. So the basics of a facial, Nicole, are that we cleanse, tone and moisturize. And what turns it into a facial are the serums, the masks and the peeling solution. The peeling solution I'm going to use today is Platinum AHA. AHA stands for Alpha Hydroxy Acid. And what it's going to do is in a gentle way, we use sugars for our acids and plants, gentle way, it's going to remove those dead skins for you. So that's what we want to do. And we're going to end up with a glow and hydrated skin. So I'd love you to, and I have a recliner behind me in my house, recliner two-seater lounge. And so I usually, if it's one person, I pop them in there or maybe even two. Um, I often also have in the past had what we call a glow and hydrate facial and the, there's a hostess and the hostess might have five friends. Then they all sit around my dining table or I, I go to their place if they're going to have a few friends, I sit around, I go there, set up, and they all can follow me along or they can watch and learn and have a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, whatever they feel like. If they want to join in, they can. If they don't want to join in, they can. But if they've come from a lead or an offer of a free facial, and a lot of my team, they offer a free facial to all of their VIPs. Everyone that joins in their team they offer a free facial too. Because if we offer them a free facial and they fall in love with the Platinum 5 step, which is basically all we, we talk about the three step, the cleanser, the toner and the moisturizer being the DNA. And we talk about the five step and we make it very simple. So pop the headband on and if they don't want a headband on, then I don't worry about that. If they do, great. They might. We want to protect their hair from the oils. And if they've got earrings on, I am great at putting headbands on, aren't I? It's harder to put it on yourself than someone else. Okay. And I was using some of our old headbands, but they were all too tight on the girls and on Adam. So I had to get bigger headbands. Nutramatics give us headbands every third month. There's free headbands with something. Okay, that will do. Oh, my gosh. Don't I look gorgeous? I love headbands. Great. I have a couple of towels. Now, on the Sunshine Coast, it can get very hot. So if it's very hot, I'm really just putting a towel on the side so that I can wipe my hands if there's too much water. But usually I might do a hand towel around here and then I do tuck it into the bra straps or get a face clip and clip it that way is also fine. Some people like the face clips. Pop this on the side. Okay, so I'm all set up. Now, step one is going to always be to cleanse. So if it's changed a little bit, you might have heard of double cleansing. Double cleansing is a great idea. So for years and years, we would double cleanse with the cleanser. Now, the new idea, which I really like and definitely saves money, is to get your makeup wipes, to use one of those, and to remove any makeup. So if people have makeup on, I will use a makeup wipe. And you're also quite fine to give it to them as well if you want to, to remove their own makeup. So I'm going to use a makeup wipe and then I'm going to cleanse. Now, the theory behind using the makeup wipes rather than the double cleanse is that when you're cleansing, and I often use a cream cleanser, this is a cream cleanser, but it's not oily at all. 
um, if you're using a cream cleanser, what you're doing is actually rubbing the makeup into the skin and into the pores of the skin. So the science behind it now is that you don't want to do this. This is taking it off as you go, not rubbing it all in and then getting a cloth to take it off. Does that make sense to everyone? So that's what we do. And I do try to get rid of every bit of makeup. I probably could do this with one makeup wipe if I was at home, pull the earrings out. Now, if you do anything like that, don't worry about it. If I can be a presidential director, and my group by tonight will be sitting at $600,000 for the month, then if I can pull the earrings out and not put the headband on properly, you too can become a presidential director. I don't want you to think that everything has to be perfect. And in fact, one of my main aims always is to book and sponsor the people that I'm giving a facial to. But number one, I want to get them to use the product. So to me, selling for a new person that I meet is my number one concern. Once I have got them on the product range and they have fallen in love with it, then I'm very much about joining them. And I don't want them to join with someone who is perfect but I do want them to join with somebody who has some knowledge of the industry and some knowledge of the products. However, when I was brand new, I had never done a facial on anyone. I had never actually brushed anyone else's hair except my sister. Um, so I didn't come from a background of knowing how to apply products. And mum's skincare routine was her Pond's cold cream. So it was very basic. Okay, so I've removed all of that. Next step now is to use some cleanser. So I actually don't talk to people while they're having the facial, if it's a one-on-one -on -one facial. However, I was chatting to one of my managers, Anya, Win Anya Williams, and she says she talks to them for the whole time during the facial and they talk to her. So can I tell you, anything is right. I talk to them more than Adam does. Adam barely talks to them. He's got the spa music on in the background. He actually uses music when he does makeups as well. He puts on blending music when they're using the buffer brush to put on the foundation. He calls it, now we've got your blending music. And then, yeah, but he's really into music. Me, I'm still trying to work out how to work everything. So, <laughs> so let's remove all of my cleanser. And if I'm doing it on a model, on someone else, I start from the throat. I want you to know your massage strokes. Your massage strokes are always about working up and out, across and across, across the top lip, across the top lip, down the nose and circles around the eyes. I'll show you that when I do a massage moisturizer. So I've got a little bit more makeup there. I turn my makeup magic circles, halos, whatever you want to call them. Um, they deleted these from the range for a while, but they've put them back on because we absolutely love them. You can use a um, lovely face towel. You can use one of these things that come with a lot of the things that we have. There's also the little black face washes that often come with the clay mask or they um, with different products. 
but these are our absolute facial uh, absolute preference. And one of my managers, Debbie, anyone that buys a program, a three step or a bigger step, she always gives them a free, just one. So she will buy the set of the two, give them just one as a free gift with their set. Um, and free gifts do work, but you've got to be earning enough money to start doing the free gifts. Okay, so we pop those in the water. That's all done. Step one is to cleanse. Now, if I was explaining at a table, step two would be to tone. Step three is serums. And step four is your moisturizer. However, with the facial, to me, the main difference in a facial is that we exfoliate and we do a mask. These are my two favorite products. And I was also going to explain to you one of the best ways, I mean, the mystery packs that we just had on that ended on Wednesday night were the best ways to get these three products all over $100, $40 each for a pack with some other things. My gosh, was amazing. However, that's finished now. So the best way to get this is if you have a $500 order, as well as product rebate, you are allowed to buy the hostess offers. So you can go on to N Central to print this off. I just went on to N Central promotions, hostess offers, and it was there. Now, if we're giving it as a present to someone for having a group of people around, we just charge them $20 as long as it's a $500 workshop. Otherwise, I really just offer it as a gift for $40 because I don't like saying you need $500 and two bookings, but you can certainly do that, um, and lots of girls do. But for $40, they can have the Platinum Night Oil, which I think is $104, the Platinum Mask, which I think is also $104. So that's $208 worth of products, plus the Gua Sha tool, the headband, and the bag for $40. So if we're charging a hostess, we tend to charge the hostess, we subsidize it, and our costs are $20. But most of the time, I will say, this is available for $40. Have you got two or three friends that you'd like to have around for a get-together? And you can have this for $40 with a bag, a gua sha tool, and a headband. Or there is a makeup offer as well with all the makeup drawers. I know that in Melbourne, one of the girls who's the same level as me, presidential director, she takes along both of these wrapped in some cellophane, pops them on the table, and then when anyone asks, what are they for? She says, oh, that's for having me around with a few friends. Now, if you don't have a $500 order and if you do it under advanced orders, you accumulate all the orders for the month, by the way. But if you don't have enough orders, then Adam or I are very happy. To, we always have plenty of orders. We're very happy to just claim it on ours and send it direct to whoever you want us to send it to. Make sense? And you just pay us the $40. Or if you wanted some to set yourself up with, just let Adam or myself know. Um, Nicole Carstairs could probably do this as well. The others perhaps are not selling as much in high personal sales because Adam sells a lot. Like October, his personal sales were $32,000 for the month. And the staff at Nutrimedics, when they were doing the recognition, they said, oh, this must be a mistake. Fortunately, I was on the Zoom call. Adam was doing a makeup masterclass in Perth, I think, for Vicky Callahan. And um, and I said, no, that's correct. Adam sold $32,000 personally for the month. <laughs> and his team this month, I think they're at $300,000 for the month. So, And he has done that in six and a half years. Okay, six and a half years. Moving to a new state where the only person that lived near us was one of my managers. 
So he did it by doing wedding expos, by doing um, lifestyle expos, by doing pop-up stands, by working at the cinemas, by going to the Yamundi markets, anywhere where he could give people free facials and offer free facials. He built his whole business first on free facials. He actually, when he first started, told me he was not going to do makeups. And I said, well, that's okay, but you'll have your income and you'll have your business. And he said, all right, I'll do makeups because he is reasonably intelligent. I mean, he's my son. You don't want to have your income and half your business. Rebecca Gal, she's so lovely. She's one of Adam's managers. He sent me along to do a starter workshop for her and it was a makeup one. And I got there and she said, I'm just telling you, Louise, I don't do makeup. Like they're the first words. It wasn't, hello, Louise, how are you? Thank you for coming along. I'm just telling you, Louise, I don't do makeup. I said, right. Well, I was going to, you follow my method of teaching you. You you follow me. We do the skincare and then we put some makeup on. She said, I'll do the skincare on somebody. My cousins were here. She's really good at makeup. She'll do the makeup on the person. Okay, not going to have a fight with the new girl that I just met. Rebecca has now run over 100 makeup masterclasses. Why? Because the wanting to earn some extra money overcame the fear of doing makeup because it is just a fear and it is just stepping out of your comfort zone. But if you want to build a business, you have to step out of your comfort zone every day. Or every second day, maybe take a day off sometimes. If Adam steps out of his, he tries to do something to step out of his comfort zone every day. He told me last night he's so disappointed because he's in Darwin. And do you know how you can do a dive with the whales, like in WA or whatever? He said, Mom, we tried to book in the dive with the crocodiles, but it's booked out. I said, thank goodness, because I really wanted you and Taryn to come back to Queensland tomorrow. I didn't want to find you at Eton. <laughs> and her boyfriend would not be happy. <laughs> so just for future information, I am not diving with the crocodiles. I've seen plenty of crocodiles going down the river in Northern Territory. Okay, so back on to the normal thing. So, so I was just going to say, I think talking about stepping out of your comfort zone and into things that you're not familiar with, I think sometimes people also just think, oh, I have to do like big steps, like I have to do the whole makeup, but you don't need to. You can take little steps and learn one thing at a time and just build on your knowledge. So I think correct. breaking it down yes. also helps and so you don't have to overwhelm yourself all in one go. That's right. Yeah. You can also tell us I'm never doing makeups and I simply will not believe you. So that's okay too. <laughs> okay, so second step, step two in doing a facial is to use your AHA, all right? Or you could do a microdermabrasion. Um, Billy Pindar, one of Adam's managers, one of my really good friends, I just love Billy, earned her company car three years ago. Billy is 60 72, maybe 73. So she was either 69 or 70 and she earned her first company car. Okay. Now, Billy has a few wrinkles, let me tell you. And I took her along to a makeup masterclass with me a couple of weeks ago as my assistant. Everyone bought the skincare because Billy told them how, how great it was. <laughs> so, so no excuses. If you're 70, I'm still not accepting an excuse. <laughs> All right. Um, so you can do, she does microdermabrasion on everyone. Um, she just loves this product. So if you love it, find your own routine, find your own products, um, whatever you want to do. But Adam and I, we do platinum, platinum and platinum. Okay. So I will do a scrub first, sorry, AHA first, then we do the mask. So we're going to do the scrub, and that is this AHA. What I love about it, you can pop it on. They give out these free spatulas all the time. Who got the? Who earned the turmeric mask? 
and got the free spatula with it. Thank you, gift for the second half. You can still earn it today. $110 order, free, between the 16th and the 30th of November. Have you done an order, Amy, in the last two weeks? No, I haven't. If you would like to, you can get the free turmeric mask, which I absolutely love, by the way. I so, have one and it's just beautiful. I oh, love it. it is. Well, if you've got one, you're yeah. right. As long as you've got one. I don't I like do. missing out on free products that you haven't got. No, I have got one and I did. I was lucky enough to get another one free in my Starbucks one month as well. Oh, good girl. That Starbucks okay. was the ripper. I got the turmeric mask, the microdemigration and the vitamin C booster. Oh, my gosh. I was That's for selling $1,000 in one month once you are out of your first 60 days of of. Um, joining and because you're in the rewards if you happen to go over the level of your rewards by another 500 you can reach out to your executive sales manager they can request that you be sent that if you do a thousand dollars over they can request you get not only the bonus gift but the starbucks just so you know just for your info so i'll pop that on now it says on here Leave on for 10 minutes. I personally advise anyone who is just using AHA to just leave it on for two to three minutes for the first two, three, four times and build it up to the 10 minutes. Okay. I did a, um, I'm on a trial. I nearly told you the name of the product. I'm on a trial at the moment for, it is a Peel Solution product. And um, so I it was, I have to use it twice a week. I have to do before and after photos. If you see on the Nutrimedics Beauty Hub to go on a trial, always apply, okay? And I probably cheated a little bit and said I was, you know, combination oily because I knew that that product would suit a combination oily skin. So I've done that treatment this morning. So this is tingling a lot, Okay. If you have a sense, of, Amy, did this tingle when you first used this on your red skin? Yes, it certainly did. Okay. It did. And it, I must say, after I peeled it off, my cheeks were redder than normal. Yes. But it settled very quickly. Very good. Excellent. It's interesting, Billy. I was doing a facial. And by the way, you can watch as many facials as you want um, by going back to all the different Monday night trainings. And I do a microdermabrasion facial. They're all kept there on the Buchner Beauty Academy. And a few of them are made into YouTube channel things, videos, but most of them you find by going back to the Buchner Beauty Academy. As you'll find out, I'm doing a making, makeup masterclass. You'll find me doing a makeup masterclass, okay? You'll find lots of trainings. You'll find Rebecca, Beck Gal, teaching a makeup masterclass not last week, the week before, which is amazing that three years ago she told me she wouldn't do it. Now she's teaching it online for me. So I leave that on for about two minutes. I just explained this may tingle a little. What it's doing is removing all the dead skin cells. I actually go away, sit at, uh, at the table. I probably would change the water and get some fresh water. Just doing myself now. And it's an excuse to just leave the person and make sure if you're just doing one person and you're leaving them, that you put some music on, okay? And I also encourage them to relax. If you say the words relax and close your eyes, they will do it. If you forget to say it, they'll forget to do it. All right. So I'm going to, actually, I'll take that off with those music for the mask. Move this. So what I want to do is... If they have blackheads, this really helps to remove the blackheads. Now, Nutrimedics will say on the um, on the jar that you massage it around in little circles and you slough it off that way and it will become not only a peel solution but also a chemical way of exfoliating. I don't do that because it makes too much mess. And I don't need to do that because, my well, I just don't do it because too messy, everything is going everywhere. 
but you will find, now I've got all of the dead skin cells off. That's great. If I'm doing a makeup or a bride, I really would love them to do a peel beforehand so I've got beautiful, soft, smooth skin to work with. Now it's going to be even. I believe, strongly believe, in using a peel solution once a week and a microdermabrasion once a week. Now, the reason I love the microdermabrasion and keep it in the shower is I find it actually easier to exfoliate when I'm having a shower. I love having a shower. I'm washing my hair. I'm conditioning my hair. I'm putting a hair mask on. I'm, I'm scrubbing my face. I'm shaving the legs. I'm, and this is the best lip scrub I've ever used in my life. I get very dry lips and the lips peel. Anyone else get dry lips? Okay, not really. Do a lip scrub, your lipstick, your lip gloss, everything goes on better. So I, I think that everyone in the whole world actually needs these two products. You can't have one or the other. If you're really serious about this, you need both. So next part of having a facial, if you go to the beauty therapist, I'm so excited. I'm going on Tuesday and I have the eyebrow wax, the, eyelash, the eyebrow tint, the eyelashes tinted. And now, so annoying, I have to have the face wax as well and the nose wax. My God, things that happen when you reach 69. Okay, so you. when I was taught all those years ago, we always applied the mask with a brush. Okay, and you can actually apply the AHA with a brush. So you can use a blush brush. I'm using up all the contour brushes that we had. And I'm going to give you all a challenge to everyone that books 10 facials into their diary between now and the 31st of December. And if any of them move, you've got to replace them with someone else. And you can do like five in one go. Billy, the other day, she was teaching one of her brand new girls. So she asked nine friends to come over all an hour apart and they did nine facials in one day. Just so Murray Clear, who just became a senior group leader, could learn how to do a facial, okay? So the secret is practice, practice, practice. There's plenty of things on the Buchner Beauty Academy where I've got how I do a microdermabrasion facial, how I do a high-performance facial. It's all written there. So we could do facials on anyone. It could be our partner, anyone. our kids, our mom, sister, Correct. friend. Yeah. Correct. However, if you want to get more sales, then try and mix it up. <laughs> yeah, but start off with maybe a couple of people that you know. Yeah, start, start off with five people you know. Yeah, and then keep Ten going. people you know. I don't mind. I just want you to go by the end of December, I'm confident doing facials and I've got a few people interested or I booked a couple of people. If they don't buy, then I try and then I say, look, would you do me a favour? Can I pop you on my VIP list? Um, and you'll get any special offers that come on and um, I love you. I'll keep you up to date with anything, any extra events that I'm running. And I, if they don't buy and they don't book, then I want them to join. Make sense? The only time I don't want them to join is if they live, live close, they buy and they will be a good customer. Okay. I did actually, uh, as the lady that came for the facial, she bought $300 worth. At the end, I said, we take the order first. The first order is ours. And then we join them. And I said, would you like to have your own account, VIP account, become a member? She said, no, I live close to you. When I want things, I'll come to you. But I'd love to book in with you for another facial. And I will get the microdermabrasion when I come over. So that was great. All right, so this just goes on two or three minutes. Basically, this is, it's basically really designed to tighten and firm, particularly in this area here. Okay, so if somebody has more blackheads and breakouts, I'd be using the turmeric mask. 
that has now become my favorite deep cleansing mask. And even though I don't have an oily skin, well, I must get oily in some places because I do still get blackheads. Anyone else still get blackheads or those little white milia, the little whiteheads? And on babies, they're called milk spots. And um, they're a buildup of little fatty deposits. And unfortunately, I get those too. So every time I go for a facial to the beauty therapist, I get them to do the extractions for me. Okay, I've got some on my eyes at the moment. So they've got to be gone. Wrinkles have to go. The milk, the, the whiteheads have to go. The blackheads have to go. I get rid of them all, girls. <laughs> Louise, so, you mentioned when the lady comes back to she wanted to book in another facial. Mm. Um, is that a paid facial at that point? Yes, eighty. She asked me how much it would be. I said eighty dollars. Okay, we could choose what we think is appropriate. You choose what you think is appropriate. But something between fifty to eighty dollars would be around standard or market rate for what we're providing. Yeah, market rate is probably a hundred dollars. So I make it okay. under market rate. Yeah. All right. So I spend, um, but, and the hour is by the time they turn up, I still do another skin diagnosis chart. And by the time they leave, that's your hour facial. Like when I go my, to my beauty therapist, it's not an hour in her room being worked on. It's an hour from the time she greets me, she yeah. puts the cape on, she puts the headband on. Okay. Now, down at the beauty salon in the suburb next to me, Two years ago, they were advertising a micro, a mini microdermabrasion facial for $79. Now, the mini facial would not have included a mask. Okay, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. So 30 minutes was from the time you arrived to the time you left. So I think $80 two years later is a very good price. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. Again, it says 10 minutes, or it can be a sleeping mask. Actually, you can leave this on as you for as long as you want. I a lot of the girls with their facials, they finish with this, but I want to sell a three-step skincare range or a five-step. And so I take it off because now I need to tone and do some serums. Make sense? So if I was putting this on and doing a facial tonight, I would leave this mask on all night. And if I want a quick beauty nighttime routine, which I would do probably twice a week, I cleanse, pop this on. Now, some beauty therapists, they will cleanse, tone, exfoliate, tone, mask, tone. I was taught, um, and it was through an Ella Bache studio, and I like Ella Bache products, but they're very thick and heavy. I think they're very good for a dry skin, for a facial. I don't think they're very good for an everyday skincare program. And I've had a lot of other beauty therapists agree with me with that statement. And that's true of some of the products that are used in salons. So um, that she taught, you don't cleanse and then tone and then exfoliate because you cleanse, you've opened up the pores of the skin, you've removed the dirt and the grime, and now you don't want to tighten the pores to then get an exfoliating or a microdermabrasion product to open the pores and get out the blackheads again. It doesn't make any sense. Now, I believe one of the reasons they do it is to just add to the pampering, to add another step of what they're doing for their skin. Now, so I have done both of, I've done all my cleansing now and I have done a beautiful lift and firm mask or if I was doing a turmeric mask, it would be a third step of cleansing, wouldn't it? Because it is a deep cleansing treatment. The other mask that I absolutely love is this cleanser is also a mask. So I had a lady the other day who had a fair bit of redness I wasn't prepared to do AHA on her after chatting to her a bit about her skin. So I cleansed. I then um, did the exfoliator. No, it was 
it was exfoliating. I did a light microdermabrasion. And then this was the mask I did on her skin. So it was a third cleansing step. Make sense? Because, and what a lot of us do, I heard one of the sales directors say this the other day, such a great idea. Pop it on for five minutes before you have a shower, if you can, and you've done not only your cleanse, but you've also done a mask. And these beautiful ingredients are working for longer than the 10 seconds that you've left them on to wash the, wash it off again. So if you're saving on products as well, this is a really good mask. So no now I'm Can up to tiny. Question? Yes. Sorry. I was just thinking with um, like the, the redness and the sensitive skin, could you use the, um, the, oh, now it's gone, the clay mask and scrub in one. So it's slightly exfoliating, but it's also using the clay and the mask to draw out as well at the same time. You certainly could. Yeah, that would yeah. work. But you would have to do a, if you're working on someone else's skin, Amy, yep. you would have to do a patch test that it didn't burn them or make them too red. That, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Thank if you. they're a little bit red, that's okay. I go out of the beauty therapist after a facial a little bit red. Yeah. Because they've whacked around my skin. Let me tell you, they're getting that blood to come to the surface of the skin. And yeah. that's what your microdermabrasion does. That's what this does. It draws blood to the skin. The blood um, brings all of the nutrients from the body to the surface of the skin and takes away the toxins from your skin. Perfect. And massage does that as well. So if it you're does, not massaging your skin, um, you're not bringing the blood flow to the skin. Or the other way to do it is stand on your head like a yoga pose, and that will bring blood to the surface of your skin. That's too so, much hard work. <laughs> well, I haven't done that for about 30 years, so good job I do facials instead. I'd rather have so, a facial than stand on my head. <laughs> so next step is to tone. This is a beautiful toning essence. Now, this is a normal toner, an astringent-type toner, that works by slightly irritating the pores of the skin, causing them to tighten up. Mind you, there is no irritation on this at all. But it's basically um, a beautiful toner that works in the old style of toner, tightening the pores of the skin this way. This is a toning essence, and a toning essence contains more serums than it does astringent products. So basically, you are toning and tightening the pores, and you are adding some beautiful serum to the skin. The first range to bring a serum to Australia was SK2. Now, I'm not suggesting you necessarily go out and buy some other products, but I am suggesting that you go to beauty counters or just look online and understand what the competition is and how much they cost. So a beautiful platinum toner I thought it was still $60, but I think it might be $64 now. And by the way, there is a price rise on the 16th of January. And by the way, there is a new product catalogue, which I believe will be available to purchase from the 20th of January, which will have all the new prices in it. Okay. So um, this one's $120. It could have gone up because that was a year ago. And this one's about $60, $64. So this is basically half the price, um, but the same amount of toner. This is, was the first toning essence to come in to Australia. And to my knowledge, there's only about two or three toning essence available in the whole of Australia. Okay, so this is a really special product. Feels absolutely beautiful on my skin. I love toning my skin. I love the serums. So after that, my favorite serum, and not everyone chooses to use as many serums as I do, but I give everyone some vitamin B. Now, vitamin B clarity booster with 10% niacinamide, so 10% vitamin B, but it's also the quality of the ingredients that we use. Um, it will clarify the skin. So what I'm going to do now is address the concerns of age spots, pigmentation, sun damage, lines and wrinkles. Um, and if there was redness or sensitivity, what it does is calm down a red or a sensitive skin. 
Okay, very good for acne as well because of the calming ingredients. So I use a little bit of vitamin B and again, work up and out. Now I slow down for a facial. I should be slowing down unless you want to get rid of them quickly. Then <laughs> Nicole laughs at my jokes. I only do the jokes when I'm actually training Nicole. I don't when I'm working on somebody. Can't help myself. Used to being the entertainer for so many years, doing a workshop for everyone. Okay, so this is a favourite product and it makes such a difference to my skin. And I believe if I can make a big difference to a skin that probably has four or five serums every morning and every night, that's an amazing product. Amazing product. Okay. Now, I still haven't quite worked out whether I do vitamin C booster now or vitamin, or the moisturizing system with my um, hyaluronic acid. So you can all do some research for me. It's your job, part of your gift to me. So you're going to work out which one I should use first. But what happens, what the basic rule is, is whatever you want to work the most, you use closer in the skincare routine. As I get further along, it dilutes the power of that product a little bit because you've put other products on first. Does that make sense? Same with sunscreen. If you want sunscreen to work more, pop it on before your moisturizer instead of after. It's up to you again. So what I want to work most I am just in love with vitamin C booster. However, sensitive skins have to patch test. Can you use vitamin C booster, Amy? I certainly can. I use it every day. Fantastic. Good. I love it. I have two managers that can't use it. Oh, okay. But they can use the retinol. Me oh, see, I haven't tried the retinol. I was too scared to. I'm too scared to, too. Like I used it, but it, I didn't like the feel of it on my skin. Yeah. Yet my manager, Debbie Constable, the number of sunspots and sun damage, Debbie's 62, and she is very much a sun baker. Like in summer, she will go to the beach every day and sun bake. The difference it's made to the sun damage and the pigmentation on her skin is remarkable. That's fantastic. But I don't use it at facials, but I've put vitamin C on everyone and I haven't had any problems, but I am a little cautious since two of my managers cannot use it. So what does vitamin C do for me? Think of oranges, lemons and limes on your skin and I would say in the days of Cleopatra, not only did she do milk on her skin, she would have put the citrus products on her skin. What it does for me is instantly brighten my skin. Okay. So I'm, I'm 70 on the 15th of December. So what I don't want is a dull skin. Agreed? I want a skin that's bright, that's glowing, that's radiant. And even just with those few products I've done, I can see that my skin is really looking very hydrated and glowing. Okay, so I love my vitamin C. By the way, the face does not finish here. It finishes down here. So please use your products there. And I also use them on the backs of my hands. Now, if you're on a budget, I wouldn't say put every serum on the back of your hands, particularly as I'm washing my hands 10 times a day. However, what I do do is do factor 50 on the backs of my hands every day. And the backs of my hands are quite good. Okay. And so is the throat area here too. I've got a lot of girlfriends where you can tell they've sunbaked because they've got a lot of lines in this area. So please protect here as well. So I'm a huge fan of hyaluronic acid. If you do some research online, you'll find that peptides, Hyaluronic acid make the biggest difference with the science proven that it makes the biggest difference to your skin. So hyaluronic acid attracts up to a thousand times its weight 
in atmospheric moisture in at atmospheric moisturize moisture I knew I'd get the word out soon so I'm doing a dropper I've got two or three drops so what I am doing and I just say to people not during a facial but I might say at the end if you work in air conditioning this is one of the best products that I can recommend to you because the air conditioning is rubbing the moisture from your skin just like if you make a sandwich and you put it on the breakfast bar, leave it for an hour, how is the bread looking then? Wouldn't want to eat it, would you? Okay, it's dehydrated. It's taken all the moisture out of the bread. So that's what's happening to your skin. And if you're like me, I've got the air conditioner on at the moment because it's about 28 degrees and about 100% humidity. Um, I know. I've got to take it. I've got to get rid of these. I'm so hot. And I've got the air conditioner on 24. Um, so um, it, it really is important that I'm driving an air-conditioned car. I am living in air conditioning. I go to the air-conditioned shops half the time. I'm going to the post office that's air-conditioned. Go to Coles that's air-conditioned. Go to Woolies, it's air conditioned. Like we are in and out of air conditioning all the time. Agreed? So hyaluronic acid is amazing. And what this will do for me is everything I use now will go down deeper into the skin. So what I use now is tight, firm and feel. Now, this works like a natural Botox. It is plant-based, actually one one pump is enough for everyone. And we use this every time as prep when we do a makeup masterclass because this makes the biggest difference to the lines and wrinkles. So this will be one of the best products that Nicole could get to help look after her skin. Now, it's a treatment product, as is the vitamin C, as is the vitamin B. The whole idea is that you use them for one to two months as a treatment, then they run out and then the average person would then do a vitamin C treatment for a month or two. Now, I'm not average, neither are you, so I use the whole lot <laughs> all the time. But the way that Adam really sells this and recommends it is that use this and then you have a break. You don't need it again for three, four, five, six months just like if you had Botox and then you don't need to repeat that for six months. So he sells it on the basis that you just do, it's $128, you just do the treatment. If you do it morning and night, it'll last you a month. I just use it in the mornings. So it lasts me two months because it's during the day that I'm frowning and got the smile lines and um, the lines around the mouth I'm hopefully not doing all of that while I'm sleeping of a night okay so that's why I just use it in the mornings but if you I probably would recommend to people I'm selling to that they use it morning and night because they'll see a bigger difference and in fact I remember Debbie's mum not in her 90s saying Debbie, am I allowed to use it in the night time as well? Because I don't like how I look when I wake up in the morning. And Debbie said, yes, mum, you can use it at night time too. <laughs> so morning and night, because what we want and what is it's all about today is seeing results very quickly. Do you agree? If you see results, you will keep using it. If you don't see any results, you're likely not to keep using it. So at this stage... I'm also doing at the same time I do tighten, firm and fill on the face, doesn't matter whether it's before or after, I am doing, and this is all mine, so I can just use it straight on. But when I'm giving it to people, I just put a little bit, and I'm talking a little bit. Like that is enough. That little bit there is enough. Split it, use the ring finger. And the difference between an eye cream and an eye serum is that I can use the eye serum on the lids and right up here, whereas with a cream, you should just use it there and under the brow bone, okay, because it will make this area too puffy with an eye cream. 
by the serum will go straight down. So the top layer of the skin is called the epidermis. That's the layer of the skin that your cleansers, toners, and moisturizers basically work on. The next layer of the skin is called the dermis. And the third layer of the skin is the subcutaneous tissue, the fatty layer, whatever you want to call it. They've got about four. They also call it the horny layer, but I don't call it that. Not liking that as a description for my third layer of my skin. So um, uh, so with our skincare, we're working on the epidermis. With our serums, our microdermabrasion, our AHA and our platinum mask, we are working on the top of the dermis layer, which is called the basal layer, which is where the skin cells are formed. So these products are all working where the skin cells are formed, as opposed to your cleansers, toners, and moisturizers. Does that make sense to you? Right? This range has 2% actives. Our Pro Restore range has between 4 and 6% actives. Our Skin Clean, Skin Fresh, Nutri-Moist. Nutri-Moist is our highest selling moisturizer in our range. We sell one approximately every three to five minutes, a Nutri-Moist is sold. Every three to five minutes, a Nutri-Rich Oil is sold in Australia. Isn't that extraordinary? That amount in a country with only 25 million people, that's how many of that product are sold. Whenever we put on a two for one or two for $65 Nutrimoist, they walk out the door, absolutely walk out the door. So these are working on the top of the dermis layer of your skin. That's why they are so effective. And then what I do is I put on my DNA. My DNA, let's find did have some cotton tips handy. They are somewhere. I only use about that amount. We call it the size of a green pea. And the difference between, I believe, our skin products and the ordinary, the other skin products that you can buy in Priceline and in the chemist, Kmart, Target, is that you need to use a lot of product to get any, well, I don't, the thing is, they can say that they have an ingredient in it and that ingredient might be 0.01% niacinamide, right? And they can say it contains niacinamide. Um, this is a peptide moisturiser that works. It was based on the formula of studying the immortal jellyfish. The immortal jellyfish never dies. It's a really good idea. It's a short four-minute video, if you Google it, video of the immortal jellyfish. So it's like Benjamin Button, the movie, if you've ever heard of it or seen it. And they it, Jellyfish age and then they reverse the aging process and they go back to being a baby. Immortal jellyfishes never die. So they studied the science of the immortal jellyfish and this is the ingredients in this work on what makes an immortal jellyfish reverse the aging process. You will see a difference in your skin if you take a photo today and then you take a photo in 28 days, you will see a guaranteed difference in your skin after 28 days. Now, you're not going to see that with Nutri-Moist or with Comfort Day Cream. You are going to see it with DNA. It's 5% actives, okay, and it has peptides in it. So I just love that. Now, if it's daytime and it's daytime here, my favourite sunscreen is the Bright Advanced Bright Day Cream SPF 15. My... Um, son Rick who is 40 he uses this as his moisturizer he's not going to put on well he does actually it's only taking me 40 years but he is putting using DNA and he is using the smart shield loves it he's keen on being out in the water in boats uh, it takes the kids surfing he's always taking them to sport he loves 
being outdoors. He's got a 2,000 square metre block, so he's on the ride-on lawnmower. He's working on the car. He's a car mechanic, blah, blah, blah. He's got his SPF 50 on. That's only really happened since he was 35. I'm sure before 35, he thought his skin didn't need anything. He's now realised that he looks older than his 34-year-old brother. Oh, no. Well, he's always looked older than him. No, he looks like he's 10 years. He was, he's a lot older with his skin. So we've got him onto that. We've got him on to clear cleanser exfoliator. So he uses that as his cleanser. And I think that that's all I've managed. I did tell him he needs the eye serum, but I haven't seen that as part of his skincare program yet. Give me another 40 years. We'll be there. So I love my bright day cream. Why do I love it? It's factor 15. My sheer tint is factor 15. So if I'm wearing those two or my um, silk fusion, I've got enough sunscreen on for someone that really doesn't go out in the sun very much at all. And I like this because it's light. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel heavy. It, and one of the reasons I absolutely love it and I'm really keen on it same with my reading glasses. I get the blue shield on everything. I love the fact that it is protecting my skin from my mobile phone, my computer, my TV, or my screens. And the biggest trend in skincare in 2025 is going to be the H HEV, high energy, it's called HEV, protection. Right, I better learn. Your your job, your research is to send me a message saying what my HEV stands for, everyone. I'm sure it's in the um, Nutrimedics product catalogue, but you know I couldn't find one product catalogue in this house. Adam has cleaned out the garage. So I don't know whether he thought that they're going out, so he got rid of them all. But anyway, who knows? So... I finish every facial with a neck and shoulder massage. Do you know some people have never had anyone give them a neck or shoulder massage? I'd never had a massage until I was about, I think I started doing facials and massages when I was about 50. Okay. So I always put a towel. I put a towel at the back there, tuck it in because I don't want to get any oil. And I'm actually using the Wild Melon Wonder Oil, which comes in your rewards, your first rewards. Or the other one that I use is Body Satin Spray. Or I use Nutri-Rich Body Cream, Body Butter, any of those beautiful body products. I think we have the best range of body products in the world. That, and The Wonder Oil? Yes. What what makes it wonderful? Okay, good question. It has 11 botanical oils in it. It has macadamia oil, apricot oil, almond oil, every other oil you can think of. Have you got one of those orange product catalogs? Can you find it and look up for me Ultra Care? Or well, now it's in the wellness range, but that was before. That was after that catalogue was called. So it should be under there. And it should be under Irena, the Irena products. It's now been repackaged and Irena was discontinued. Beautiful range for teenagers, but we didn't sell enough of it. So got discontinued. But we kept this product because it sold. So it's got 11 botanical ingredients in there. Can you read out some of those ingredients, Nicole? All right, Kalahari melon seed oil, Brazil nut oil, rosehip oil, avocado oil, sunflower seed oil, apricot kernel oil, sweet almond oil, sandalwood oil, macadamia oil, um, jojoba oil, and soybean oil. And what does it do? What does it say in there it does? This lightweight melon-infused facial oil leaves truly is 
truly is a one day. This do it all oil is your daily booster to leave skin balanced, protected, and plumped for skin that glows with health. Wonderful. So if you want boost the skin, any, to yeah. Yeah, boost any skincare regime with added nutrients. Hmm. And you can mix so with you your foundation. This, right. You can boost your moisturizer by putting, popping this first and then the moisturizer. You can also, so my um my old PA, Alicia, who now works for Adam, she um uses it, she mixes a drop of this with any foundation that she's using and what it does is give your foundation a real glow to it and she just loves the effect that it has so it's just a product that you can it's a booster so when you're doing boosters the whole idea with a booster is that usually the order is cleansers first toners second boosters Hence, I use the vitamin B Clarity Booster next. Boosters, then ser creamy serums, and then moisturizers. So the lighter the product, the more it's used earlier in the routine. So it's a little bit like the Platinum Night Oil, and I use this product often, but I do love the Bright Night Cream as well. Um, I... Um, with this night oil, you can use it under the DNA or you can use it on top of the DNA. Either is correct. Um, I was talking to Nikki Katsoulis, our Queensland state manager, who is also a qualified beauty therapist, and she said, Louise, we like it um, not underneath where it is actually a bit oilier. We like to use our normal moisturizer and get that in there first, and then we put it on afterwards. If you wanted this to be just, if you uh, have got drier skin than we have, you will like it underneath the moisturizer. Okay? But biocollagen is just amazing. The natural plant collagens are stimulating the natural collagen and elastin in our skin. Your elastin and your collagen in your skin basically stops being produced from the age of 37. But the more recent um, science is showing that from late 20s, the elastin and the collagen is starting to get quite depleted. And it's depleting from really the time you're born. So babies have this lovely firm skin. You can pitch their cheeks. It goes straight back up with me. Because I've got so many products on my hand, it might go back fairly quickly. But if you hold it for 20 seconds and let it go, and if I didn't have product on my skin already, I'd be patting it down to get rid of that bit of skin and get it to go down again. So we often get people to do a pinch test then we put Aqua Supply Booster or Moisturising System on just a little bit, let it soak in, then get them to do the pinch test again and the skin goes straight back into shape again. You do this on a teenager, a girl in their 20s, skin goes straight back again. You do it on someone in their late 40s, 50s, you're trying to get that skin to go down because it will. it doesn't have the same elasticity it doesn't have the same firmness. Collagen is firmness. Elasticity is the ability, is an elastic band, the ability to stretch and go back into shape again. So what happens with our skin is the elastic band starts to get very worn and doesn't go back into shape again as quickly as it used to. The serums and the collagen boost, and I take my collagen boost powder too. Does anyone have that every day? It improves your hair, improves your skin, improves your nails. And it improves the firmness in your skin. Okay, quite a few girls are having great results um, with their hair because their hair has been getting thinner. I seem to don't have any problem with my hair, which is great. Mm. Very good. So then Nicole comes back to me. I say, Nicole, 
your skin, and just tell them. You have to be confident that what you've done has made a difference to them. Nicole, how um, your skin is just glowing. It looks so hydrated. I can see such a difference in your skin in just that one treatment. How are you feeling? I don't ask them how their skin's feeling. I say, how are you feeling? They say, I feel so relaxed. I say, fabulous. You're, you are just glowing. What I'm going to recommend for you, Nicole, and you can use the magic questions that are on here. It's And that's what you do at the beginning. Tell me about your skin. What are you using at your skin at the moment? If I had a magic wand and could change one thing. I don't use the what are you using at the skin at the moment because one lady took half an hour to get on a phone and tell me she was using the cheapest range from the chemist shop that she could find. So I don't want to know for 20 minutes what she's using on her skin that she can't even remember, okay? And it was one product. So I don't. I miss that question now. But a good question is if I have a, a magic wand and could change one thing about your skin, what would that be? Nicole, if I'd asked you that at the beginning, what would you say? One thing, magic wand. The lift and firm here. Good. Wonderful. And that's exactly what this product will do for you. That's exactly what it's designed for, as will your basic skincare program. So what I'd like to show you now is step one in your skincare program, Nicole, is to cleanse. Step two is to tone. And step three is to moisturize. They're your three basics. That's what I'm going to recommend for you for your skin. And those three, and you need a product catalog, which I couldn't find. They're in the product catalog. Um, they're in the old, the old brochure that was called our Beauty Collections brochure, and they're $185. Now they're not showing in the Christmas brochure, but that um, special is extended all the time. If you look for, if you just put in platinum, you will see there's a three-step beauty collection there for $185. Its normal price is $222. Tilly, I think its normal price is even more than that. Then there's the five-step program. And then I have my beautiful Christmas brochure here. I open it up to the five-step. And I just explain that this program is here. I recommend that you do your basics. Nicole, if you're looking for basics, that will make a huge difference to your skin. But if you would like to add the natural Botox with the quad peptides in there and the eye serum, which honestly, I could not live without the eye serum. It makes such a difference first thing in the morning to this eye area for me. Then you get the five steps. I actually don't even talk about the bag and the free mask and, and the headband. I just always talk about the cleanser, the toner, the moisturizer, and your two serums. And the order that you use that in, Nicole, is step one is your cleanser. And I write it where it says wish list. So I actually write down platinum cleanser, platinum toner, platinum moisturizer. I do a little thing to group it together. I say $185 normally, whatever. Then I group together the five step cleanser, toner, face serum, eye serum, DNA. Five step. It's $299. Its normal value is, and if we have a look at this Christmas brochure, the value for that is $428. Make sense? I just explained that this by itself is $128. This by itself is over $70. So it's basically... 200 for this and you're getting your then your three step for $99. Incredible, incredible offer. That That's what I would recommend for you, Nicole. That will address your dehydration, the lack of firmness, 
This is going to make the biggest difference to the firming. The um, sun damage is your cleanser mask is going to make a huge difference to the sun damage but the extra thing that I recommend that makes the biggest difference to the sun damage for me is my vitamin C and the vitamin C is $100 and then half the time it's on special for $80 so I usually buy one or two extra when they're $80 and then I offer them for $80 okay and I have them in stock the next thing that I'm going to recommend for you because we did talk a bit about age spots and the best thing for the age spots is the whole platinum range, the vitamin C. But if you want one specific ingredient, it would be the niacinamide, the vitamin B. And then I look that up and I explain how much it is. I can't remember at the moment because I can't find my catalog. So then I say the, the real question you must ask is, and I'll get you to unmute for a moment, Nicole, and just role play with me. Um, I've written all that down, recommended that for you, added the vitamin C, added the vitamin B, and sometimes I add the, the moisturizing system, but sometimes I leave that out because I think I've done enough products. It depends whether they are a basic skincare girl or they are a premium skincare girl. But even if they're basics, I still add these two. And my basics lady facial the other day, she said, look, I've got a decent um, cleanser and toner, but I've got a really cheap moisturizer. I said, well, I recommend this one. And that is a great special on at the moment in the December brochure. And I recommend your vitamin C. Now, not often does someone message me back after she came and picked up the products from me. Um, I could have sent them direct, but she's, I didn't offer that straight away. I said, I can drop them off to you. She doesn't live that far away from me. Or you can pick them up from me. She said, I'll come and pick them up from you. I like driving. And Saturday morning, she goes to a market that's not far from my place. I said, that'd be great. Who knows why I said that? and offered the pickup or the drop-off rather than sending direct to somebody. Who knows why? So you can meet them in person. Correct. Another touch point, Nicole. The more touch points I have and the more she said again, I'm asking my children if they'll give me a facial with you as my Christmas present. Okay. Another conversation, another, oh, I've got a new brochure. Have a look at the newest brochure. It would also be, in this case, the opportunity to actually see her skin too. Yes, very true. But she'd already sent me a text to say, Louise, I just wanted to tell you how impressed I am with the moisturiser and the vitamin C I got from you. I absolutely love them. How nice is that from someone yeah. I'd met once at the Chicks at the Flick stand then met when she had a facial, then met when I, uh, and hadn't met more than those two touch points. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that's what I want you to do with your facials. I do believe that, yes, you can do a free facial and sell nothing. Yes, you can do a free facial and sell a whole platinum set plus perhaps one or two other products as well. Rebook them. Or I did ask her to have a little get together because she said she had two daughters and she said, no, trying to get the girls together is too hard. It was, it was sort of a definite no. So I didn't try and overcome the objections there. Okay. And then I then said, would you like to go on my VIP list and see the latest specials and any makeup masterclasses that are coming on, et cetera. And she said, no, I'm happy to just order from you. I said, great. Don't argue with your customer. Try a little bit, but make sure that they're feeling that what they choose to do is respected. Makes sense to everyone? Who yeah. has learned a little bit more about how to do the facial and how to use the skin diagnosis chart and how to take the order? I definitely did. But what I will say is because so many products were used, which was great, 
Yeah. We learned so, so much. It was also overwhelming and confusing. So okay. I was going to ask, do we have a list in the order of what you, um, for the facial, what products are used? You with? do. So I have done attachments at different times for a microdermabrasion facial, a high-performance facial. So what I need to do is get Adam to find them for me and send them to you. Is and this? Share oh, them. Would, yeah. Would this be available in the guides? I think it is, but I there are some there, perhaps not quite as detailed as I just did or as up to date. But yes, there are some in the guides. Okay, so we can yes. go and have a look there. Yes, look think for that a would... microdermabrasion facial. Yeah. Look for a high performance platinum facial. Okay, all right, thank you. Pleasure. Okay, and remember, you don't have to do every serum that I do, but I find that I make a bigger difference to their skin when I add either these two or three. But you'll notice I didn't recommend anything really beyond these two here, the Bs and the Cs, because I feel that often they're a gap in normal girls' skincare routines. They're things that they haven't got. Or in the case of this lovely girl, it was something she was thinking about. And so when she had the facial with me, instead of hopefully going to the chemist shop and buying the ordinary, she bought this instead. Okay, very good. So we're having another little session on Tuesday morning, I think, aren't we, Nicole? And if you want to join us, you are very well welcome. And it is 11.30 Queensland time, 12.30 on New South Wales, Victoria time. And what we're going to do is basically all those things that never get covered. And the hostess office is one of them. Another one is, did you know that you could buy a makeup masterclass makeup set for $1,699 for anyone that's a makeup artist or wants to get the eight brush sets and all of the silk fusion foundations all the lip pencils all the eyeliner pencils the powder the concealers etc etc that's another thing and I just want to tell you um about a little bit about do you know about the exclusive rewards for new people do you know about the normal rewards there's all these different things that we just don't have time to do in the regular trainings or cover when we want to do a 15 or 20 minute talk so I'm just going to go over those and go through the levels a bit more <coughs> or whatever list Nicole wants to send to me, just so that you have a deeper understanding of what's available to you and um, where you can go. And basically, I would like to give you more knowledge because to me, knowledge equals power. And to me, enthusiasm plus commitment equals success. And when I do an advanced business training, I ask people, how enthusiastic are you about the next one, two, six months with your new genetics? And how enthusiastic are you about being part of the business, part of the team, Nicole or Nicole's team? And how committed are you it doesn't mean 40 hours a week commitment, but if you want to commit 10 hours a week, how committed are you at those 10 hours a week? You don't go and hang the washing on the line or empty the dishwasher. You actually do things that will progress your nutrimetics business. And it was interesting on Monday night, Adam did his talk on what not to do. And that was not what not to do is go on and do your spreadsheets for four hours and say that you've worked Nutramedics for four hours. Mm -hmm. Working Nutramedics is about what are you doing face-to-face -face or and social media plays a part. But to me, the biggest difference is how many people are you seeing each week? How many people are you putting some product on their face? Or how many people are you talking about would you like to earn some extra money would I join to earn $50 extra a week because 
Michael and I had a mortgage on our house. We'd borrowed from the police credit union deposit for the mortgage and then Mike worked for the Commonwealth Bank and we um, we got the home loan by using the, the loan that I got from the police credit union. So we had double two mortgages basically on our house and then we had a loan for the car. So interestingly enough, there wasn't any money left at the end of the month for me to buy clothes or makeup. Agreed. And so that's why I went and got a part-time job. And I asked at, at the time it was Grace Brothers, whether you're talking David Jones, Meyer, the um, hospitality, making coffee, whatever. I was trying to get a little part-time job Thursday nights and Saturday mornings because shops were only open Saturday mornings then. Thursday nights and Saturday mornings, a little part-time job so that I could go and buy some clothes and some makeup. I'm pleased to let you all know that I've been able to buy some clothes and some makeup ever since I joined 44 years ago. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you with, um, I'm a big person for quotes, live life, wonderful. Make time for the sparks of joy that bring sunshine to your soul. Guess what? I just found the product catalogue. Oh, my gosh. It was with my books. This book That's here, right. Lisa Messenger, Daring and Disruptive, Unleashing the Entrepreneur. And it's about being daring and disruptive and doing things that the normal people go, what the hell are you doing that for? And my darling father-in-law has passed away, absolutely loved him, so beautiful. He did say to me, after I got the car and the trip overseas and got to the highest level, Louise, I'm still worried about you having a real job. <laughs> and loved him and I said, that's okay. I'll get a real job if I run out of money. Don't worry. All right? <laughs> and um, Do you want to share with the ladies what how much it is that you're earning at the moment? I could tell you. It's an average of $20,000 a month. It's wow. amazing, amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Louise, that is amazing. It's mm. a good income for doing something that I actually love doing. I wouldn't have volunteered to say I could do an extra Zoom for Nicole if I didn't enjoy what I was doing. Exactly. I love it. I don't, I don't have to do that anymore. I've put my years into the industry. But I believe I don't have to do facials anymore. I was doing a makeup masterclass yesterday morning and there were four ladies there and the only thing I sold was a, and I was doing it for another girl, um, was a five-step platinum set. But the other two ladies, two of them said, Louise, I wish I'd come to this a bit earlier. I just bought a whole lot of makeup on the Black Friday sales. Yeah. Another lady said, I wish I'd come to this earlier. I just bought a whole lot of makeup and skincare. So I'm right for a while. But when I run out, they all got their own VIP accounts, every one of them. And the other lady, she just moved from Sydney to the Sunshine Coast, had literally only been up here for about two weeks. And I think that's all the moving costs and the getting the kids into schools and all that sort of thing, it wasn't the right time for her. Yeah. So I did understand each of those people. And interestingly enough, they and I just say, my normal thing is, is there something I can help you with? That's what I say. I don't say, do you want something? Or I don't say nothing. I say, is there something I can help? And I come right next to them look at the event form for the makeup offer um, or look at the platinum set or look at the skin diagnosis chart, which I just love and use for all my facials and my skincare and say, is there something I can help you with? Or is there something you you are interested in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's having an open-ended question. Yeah. What was that? It's oh, yeah, yeah, open-ended yeah. question, yeah. yeah. Say something that leads to a yes or a no. Yeah. They have to say something. And when I asked that, you're exactly right, Amy, because that's why they gave me information. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Thank you, Louise, for sharing or spending all that time with us today and sharing all your knowledge. Um, I think there's so much potential with Nutrimedics, like you've just shared your income with us, but even a fraction of that would make a difference, I know, in my life and I'm sure in everybody else's life. So Absolutely. you've given us some tools now that we can utilise to help mm -hmm. us get, get started, to um, meet new people, learn um, these skills of doing a facial. So it's really yeah. now up to us to start putting that together and practising. It is. And I'm going to have a chat to Adam because I know this is what it usually does, just reminding me, is um, so if each of you could send me an email, my email address is easy. It's my name, Louise Buchner, spelt B-U-E-C-H-N-E-R at outlook.com. Then I'm going to arrange, um, and we're going to ask the state manager to send you out a few little things, brochures, samples, a couple of tools. Um, Thank you. Or if they can't do it, Adam will send it out for you because he likes doing things that for you. And there'll probably be a couple of surprises in the pack too. So thank you for jumping on. Each thank, of you. thank you. Thank you. Have a good thank rest you, of the afternoon. You too. We'll see you on Tuesday. See you Tuesday, Nicole. Thank Bye you down. so much, Bye. Louise. Bye. 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 Thanks, everyone. Oh, Thanks. I better end the recording, Amy. Oh, oh yes, good idea. <laughs> Let's see. And do I just press the cross and it will come up? Do I want to end it? I think so. I, I think, think if you just works. end the Zoom, it'll end the recording. Oh, yeah. is this recording there? Yeah, end down there. That's what I do. End.